Hey guys, I'm in Guanajuato still. It's my sixth day here. I'm leaving tomorrow, so it'll be a week. I'm at the Pipila statue. It's kind of a monument that's up on the hill on the south rim, kind of up the, you know, the city is down in a valley, so this is the, uh, the south uh, ridge, I guess. And this is a monument that you can see from anywhere in town. In fact, you can see um, Uni Garden, and you can see Plaza de la Paz, and the university, and kind of where I'm staying. It's quite a view up here. Um, to get here, I, I took one of the tunnels. Um, the tunnels are okay to go short distances in town, but this is one of the longer tunnels, and I would not suggest uh, doing that. It's, there is some, some pollution, and I had to kind of cover up my face with my shirt. But anyway, the tunnel pops out at a uh, monument to Cervantes. And Cervantes is the, the guy who wrote Don Quixote. And there's also a Don Quixote iconographical museum here, which is eh, it's worth a trip. It's free on Tuesday, so I went in there on Tuesday. And it's just all different um, artists have done depictions of the story of Don Quixote. So yeah, this is a nice view up here. I think we're gonna head over to the baseball stadium and see if they'll see if they'll let me in there. So when I first walked in here, I was pretty surprised at how green the grass is, but it turns out this is artificial turf, so that's that's a good reason. I suppose it's hard to keep grass growing in a in a climate like this. It's so arid. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of walk around here, <clears throat> check out the fence and the field, the warning track. The most interesting part is is left field for sure, because it's they use this rock wall, you know, kind of kind of like Fenway, where it's a little bit short, shorter uh, left field. So the, the stadium is great. This is really cool. I tried to find out if there's going to be a game here sometime, but I couldn't find a schedule. I mean, they maintain it really well. There's lights set up. It looks, it looks, you know, freshly painted, so they got to use it. I'll have to find out if there's going to be a game sometime soon. And this is where Fernando Valenzuela got his start. It's one of the, the teams he played for because before uh, he was a Dodger. So, and he was the only player to get both the Rookie of the Year and the Cy Young in the same year, and the Dodgers won the World Series that year too. So, uh, this is pretty cool to be here. Um, but yeah, this is a really, I didn't expect to see such a well-maintained field. This is excellent. So, um, yeah, there's only one thing left to do. Let's run the bases.